And here's a new Lenovo laptop. Hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Michael Grimsley. I'm a product technologist with Lenovo. I want to show you the brand new Yoga 530. And uh, what, what we've done here compared to previous generations, we really cleaned up the style, made this a much more minimal, clean looking uh, PC. We've also modified the hinge a little bit here, so that way when you rotate the device all the way into uh, tablet mode, this edge here um, used to sit uh, a little farther apart, more of a duck bill design. Now we've got this much cleaner line that's a lot more comfortable to hold. Hold at the edge. Yes, yes, right there at the edge. Um, we've moved to full KV Lake R on these products. Uh, there's also optional fingerprint sensor on this product. Uh, so you can interface with Windows Hello. Where, uh, where do you have the fingerprint? Uh, on this particular model, we don't have it, but there's an option to upgrade to that. And then, uh, so the specs are right here. Can we look at those? Yes, of course. And, uh, so you're running uh, the latest 8th generation Intel? Yes, yes. We're on KB Lake R with these now. Um, you also have the option to add a discrete graphics card in this, if you will, um, for somebody who wants a little bit more horsepower on their device. Which is a great feature for something that's built for portability. This is, so this is a 14 inch Full HD. Yes, yes. Or up to Full HD. You can do Full HD with this device on the 14 inch. Um, we have some other products that we can show you too that uh, have a few different options as well. And, uh, can we look at the ports a little bit? So there's a full size SD card. Yeah, full size SD card, your legacy USB A port. Um, with the Kingston lot over here, you have your charging, HDMI out, um, Type C and Type A ports again, as long as your headphone jack. Is the Type C used for charging too? Just for data. Just for data. Mm -hmm. So the charger will be. Uh, uh, we we have a barrel connector for this one. Yes. So what kind of pricing are we talking about here? So for this, we're looking at a starting price at five ninety nine. Um, with of course, you can configure it up or down depending on what um, what features you like in this. Is it powerful enough to do stuff like video editing? I wouldn't say full video editing, but if you want upgrades to the GTX uh, MX card in this, it would definitely give you a little better capabilities. And uh, what's the price to upgrade to the GTX MX card? I don't have that at the moment. Um, the Do product isn't. Two three hundred dollars, I think. Uh, maybe in that sense. I, I don't have pricing on the configs yet for that.